All right. So let's talk about my experiences on the Love of My Life set because I miss my castmates so much. I miss our production team, our staff, all of the creatives. I miss everyone so much. So I just want to share some of the experiences that I've had on set. And I'm going to use yung mga IG stories that I've posted in the past to reminisce the good times. Let's see, where are they? I'm going to start with Carla since she's here. Let's start with Carla. Okay, I'm still looking for... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, si Carla, siya yung kasama ko sa tent. So yung kasama ko sa tent, um, parehas kami ng standby area dahil kami yung mga girls of the set. Um, very pleasant siya na kasama sa set. She's, actually she's most of the time sobrang chill, tahimik lang, um, very professional, um, very focused. Yung, ano, yung view ko sa kanya is, ano, I look up to her. I feel like she's very mature and a strong woman. Um, but, of course, she has many, many great qualities na, you know, tulad ng mga nabanggit ko. But she's also so beautiful. She has one of the most sincere smiles you would ever see. And I kinulit ko siya one day. Tinatanong ko sa kanya kung, kung ano itsura niya nung bata, meron ba siyang mga baby picture, uh, gumagamit ba siya ng, ng filter na yung pagmumukain kang bagets. So ako na lang yung nag-download ng filter na yun. And we recreated one of the scenes of Love of My Life. <laughs> Which is very game to do. Um, and I looked at the date, kung kailan namin to ginawa. And it's either last taping na namin yun or second to the last. Little did we know na hindi na pala kami magkikita. Surprise! Ayun. So I just want to say that. Carla, I'm looking forward to seeing you and I'm looking forward to working with you again. Um, tsaka, ano, I'm looking forward to seeing Bubbly. Kasi minsan, dinadala niya si, si Bubbly sa set. So, kasama namin siya sa standby area and syempre, napaka gandang energy of my innocent little doggy. Okay. Um, oh, speaking of innocent, wonderful energy, si Ethan din nandito. Si Ethan ang aking anak uh, sa Love of My Life. Siya si Gideon. And napakalambing niya with his mom. He's such a... He's an intelligent boy. You can tell dahil ang dami niyang tanong. He's always asking questions. And um, naalala ko siya pagka meron kaming mga eksena sa dinner table. Di ba marami kami mga ganun pag may mga family dinner na eksena? Lagi siyang nakatingin sa mami niya kasi nung mga una namin taping, pagdating namin dun sa table, kain siya ng kain. <laughs> Minsan hindi niya na nasasabi yung linya niya dahil kumakain siya. Um, so, yung nung mga pahuli na namin mga taping, Lagi na siyang nakatingin sa mami niya kasi feeling ko sinabihan siya na, oh, huwag kang kakain until tapos na yung eksena. So, hinihintay niya. Pag tapos na yung lines niya, kukuha na siya. Tapos, hihintay niya na gumanan yung mami niya. Napaka, ano, masunod rin siya. What a good boy. Ito, hindi to good boy. Hindi, joke lang. Good boy to. Good boy din to. Si Mikael Dae. You know, when I, I met Mikael some years ago, oh my gosh, it's gonna rain. Kumukulog, kumukulog, tama ba? Thunder. Anyway, um, 
si Mikael. First impression ko sa kanya, siguro seryosong tao ko. Uh, napaka-seryoso. I also, you know, felt he's very mature and all-knowing dahil nagsusulat siya sa radyo. Ay, sa radyo. <laughs> nagsusulat sa radyo. Pwede pala eh. Nagsusulat siya sa dyaryo. Um, so, I felt na, you know, parang, wow, what a smart guy. He's probably very, very serious. But when I met him, grabe napaka... Ang kulit. Loko-loko talaga. Loko-loko. <laughs> Which I really love about him. I really love that about him. Kasi parang yung... My vibe with him, how I feel with him is, ano, he's, he's my buddy. He's my bro. In fact, recently... Let's see if I have a, a video of Mikael. Recently, nagkaroon kami ng Zoom meeting dito sa... sa I mean, hindi dito. Sa internet. Um, so, yung itsura kasi ng Zoom meeting, na, makikita mo lahat ng mga screen ng participant. Tapos, lahat sila nakikinig, seryoso, nagnanad. Tapos, napatingin ako dun sa screen ni Mikael, yung itsura niya ganito. Hindi ko, ba't ito And I knew it was me. Alam ko kagad na pinagtitripan niya ako. And natatawa siya. And then, and then, tuloy sa meeting, natawa ako. Habang nagsasalita yung, ano, yung uh, program manager namin. Tapos natatawa na din ako. So, kaming dalawa yung dalawang screen na gumagano. And then, ayun, nag-text na siya sa akin. Sabi niya, ang sketchy ng itsura mo. <laughs> so, I love this guy. Okay. Nakadistract. Nakadistract. So, hindi tuloy ako makafocus. Um, so, kung dati napakaseryoso ng vibe ko kay Mikael, ngayon ito na siya. Ito yung guesting namin noon, uh, nung pinapromote namin. Siya ay naka-nyort-nyorts. Kasi yung mga suot namin, yung guesting na yun, nakaka-lurky. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about Miss Connie Reyes, uh, si Tita Connie. The first time I met her, one of the first things that I heard her say, not to me, not directly to me, but like, you know, to the room, was um, she's a very direct person. And so, yung vibe. Okay, dire direct ako pa din online. Thank you. Okay. Um, and yung vibe was intimidating. Kasi kahit ano, Kahit nung pagpasok ko sa showbiz, wala naman talaga akong alam about showbiz. Um, pero, yung reputation niya precedes her. She has this reputation of um, being a very talented, serious, dramatic actress. And, syempre, naka-intimidate. But once I got to know her, Napaka-open yung tao. Oo, totoo, direct talaga siya. But actually, that's something na I don't... But that's something that I love about people. Like, for example, my boyfriend. My boyfriend is very direct. He's a very direct person. And I like that. Kasi sometimes, we as people, parang hindi natin sinasabi kung ano yung talagang nararamdaman natin. We don't say what we really mean. And it's important, pagka diretsyong tao, ang, I mean, diretsyong kausap, yung taong kausap mo. Um, it's like you, you know exactly what to expect because they were honest with you. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And also, she's very caring because I posted this IG story and nagtatanong ako sa IG stories ko kung saan makakabili ng cookie butter kasi sobrang nagka-crave ako ng cookie butter. It's a sad day in Instaland. Today's the first time I asked you guys a question and no one answered. I just want to know where the cookie butter comes from, guys. Where do I get cookie butter? Okay, 
And a few tapings later, she handed me a jar of cookie butter. Out of nowhere. And I just want to say thank you so much. This is such a big honor for me. And gumawa pa kami ng actually isa silent ko na lang to hindi ko alam kung baka ma-copyright tayo. Um gumawa pa kami ng sayaw pang TikTok. So game na game talaga siya sa lahat and so much fun to to have gotten to know her. I also want to say hi to the staff. I alam kong may ibang mga members of our staff na nandito ngayon. Hello and I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Itong staff na to hindi naman namin first show together. Kaya sobrang grateful ako sa kanila kasi alam niyo yung mga staff sa set. Um, na we witness nila kami pagpagod na nakikita nila yung yung when we're not at our best. Tapos hindi nila kami gina judge kahit kahit we can be more mature about things. Alam mo yon. The a set is a high stress place to be. So thank you, thank you so much sa staff namin for being such wonderful people. I love you guys and I miss you guys. Thank you for never judging me when I'm not at my best. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>